Hey there, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go into an in-depth tour of everything I pack in my car when I go camping. This is for when I'm going tent camping. I am also only doing a weekend trip right now. I'm not road tripping or anything, so I don't have to bring a ton of stuff with me on this trip, but I love watching these videos, so I wanted to take a crack at it and just show y'all what I do with my car. I love my car. I am a obsessed with my car. I am proud of how I have packed it. I have found a system that just works for me. A couple disclaimers, like I mentioned, I am only weekend camping right now. I am also camping in a tent. This setup would be much different if I was camping in my car using the bed that I have built back here. But I am tent camping instead and I am also filming this in SoCal in summer in the forest so that is the sort of weather that this is packed for. You also do not need all of these items to go camping. This is years and years of items that I have collected over time. A lot of these are extra, excess, unnecessary. They're not the essentials whatsoever. Of course some of these are essential but there's a lot of extra stuff in here. This is definitely maximum comfort camping because I am just pulling into my site. I can keep everything in my car. I have this bad boy in here, so I basically just stock it with everything I could possibly need. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So if I was doing a car camping trip, then this would be set up a little bit differently, but it is for tent camping right now. Maybe one day I'll make a video about the car camping setup as well, because that involves my Thule and things like that. Okay, so I guess starting up top, this is where I would normally have the sleeping pads, but I already set up the tent and everything. I also set up the chairs, so they're not in here right now, but I took a video of of everything before I unpacked it. So I'll insert those clips throughout this video. I've got our little Arctic cooler here. It's like a soft cooler with a zipper. It's great for a weekend trip. I have bigger bins and bigger coolers when Jarrett and I are going on like week long trips and things or when we're going with more people. I'm not gonna go into the food, but we keep our cold food in there. It's comparable to like the Yeti and it's cheaper than Yetis. I will admit that I don't like zipper coolers. They are an arm workout every time you want to get to your food uh, so that gets a little annoying so I definitely would prefer clasps over a zipper okay then behind it we've got our water this row here is basically our food and water so it fits nicely Next to the pads, the pads only come out to here, which is also great for when we're car camping because we can keep our luggage and things along the side of our mattress. I'm going to let out some air. There you go. So we've got the collapsible water jug. It's nice because you can just refill it at home. This comes off, it stands up this way. And it's nice that it's kind of a soft material so that it doesn't crack because we've had water jugs in here before where when you're driving and things get kind of pushed into the corner, it'll crack your plastic and then you get water everywhere, which isn't fun. And then behind it, we've got our dry foods basically foods that don't need to be refrigerated they do have bear lockers here so we're going to be using those but i just left them in here for the time being so that i could show you how i transport it all my car camper folds up this is it extended basically halfway and we use it extended like this for transport because it adds a bit more storage and a bit more space to put things on top of. And then moving over to this side, again, this is where the pads go. If we're camping for a week, then this is normally the space where our big ice chest and our big food bin goes. And then the Subaru has little side pockets. I don't really utilize them that much, but I do have our collapsible water bins. I've got two, one for soapy water, one for rinsing. In the car camper build, it is split in half here. I have basically just a deep storage spot. And then next to it, we've got our drawer. So I'm gonna start with this one here. I have this table. I'll try to link below down as much uh, items that I can. This fits kind of perfectly right in this little spot here. And it is just a foldable table. It's really nice for prepping or for eating. If you wanna eat like right by the fireplace at night, 
and the picnic table at your campsite isn't by it so that just slides in like so and then next to it i have our cooking stove this is very old but it does the job coleman propane stove and this was actually my parents stove that i stole from them they probably got it in like the 90s on top i have these things they are for bugs to put over your food they're just nice to have in case and they don't take up much space at all I just have them sitting right on top there. It's more of a better safe than sorry sort of thing. Then the last thing in this spot is one of our first bins. I have a lot of bins in my car like this. In this one, I keep fire and light, basically. We have a Goal Zero lantern in here. It's rechargeable, which is super nice. And you can also light up both sides or just one side we also have one of the pop-up ones from amazon our headlamps we use black diamond headlamps our lighters in here i have a few lighters technically have this thing too which i'm never gonna use but and then we've got an extra headlamp and some extra flashlights just in case I'll note that this video also isn't going into the car build itself. I'll definitely make a video about that down the line. Right now, I'm just talking about what I put in it in detail. Alrighty, now the drawer, my beautiful, beautiful drawer. I definitely want to paint the front of this drawer with like mountains or something cute like that. Opening up our drawer right away, we have our nice little cutting board. It's great for cooking and prepping dinners and then it lifts up beautifully and we've got all of our stuff starting off with the ever so beautiful national park soap set if you don't know about this this is from parks project they collaborated with ursa major and they made these beautiful soaps inspired by the national parks i'm super excited about this collaboration if you know parks project then you know that the soap supports national parks conservation association definitely going to be using it on this trip great great stuff here and everything else in here is sort of kitchen related but then this is our big miscellaneous almost like a toolbox this definitely goes hand in hand with the kitchen the tins that i got here are all from daiso i wanted to have clear containers throughout this whole car organization system i guess because i wanted to be able to just see what was in everything so in our first one here this is probably the most wasted space in all honesty because it is just ziploc baggies and reusable bags and napkins i could definitely be putting these like somewhere else but i don't know they're they're in here for now i'll fix it later this is our dishwashing container i've got dish soap sponge and rubber gloves in here rubber gloves are my pro tip because spigot water at campsites is always really really cold and the rubber gloves makes it less cold when you're washing dishes this is our miscellaneous tub little hand broom because i camp with a neat freak most of my life he wants a hand broom we've got some little accessories for our trekking poles. The theme in most of my camping gear that I bring with me is extras. I very much believe that if you have one, you have none when it comes to essentials, mainly batteries and stuff like that, or just things that I know I forget about. We've got a bunch of these like binder clips and chip clips because that is something that I always forget. These little tent mesh patches. I have had to use these before on a trip so they're nice to have this thing that clips on to our table leg of our little foldable table it has little hooks for your trash bag i never like hanging them on trees or anything i always hang it on stuff that i bring box cutter and multi-tool zip ties you never know extra scissors extra clips playing cards just never know and then i keep extra tent stakes in here as well we keep our heavy duty ones in here these are not them i am using the heavy duty ones right now on our tent but they're nice they have a pointed end like this but they are not as bendy as these ones can be so when you're camping in places with hard ground, you definitely want ones with a spiked end, not the flat end that a lot of tents come with. 
Jarrett and I have done a trip to Zion specifically and their ground was very very hard and we only had our flat stakes with us because we forgot our other ones and none of them went into the ground. We had to use rocks to way down the tent. It was very scary. This side's basically just more kitchen stuff. We've got enamel everything because I don't have to worry about it breaking. So two enamel bowls. These were from Target. Metal bowl just for mixing or cooking. I bring my backpacking Sea to Summit collapsible bowl just because it doesn't take up much space. Extra plates down here and the enamel bigger plates. Two camping mugs, enamel. Always gotta have morning coffee. And then last thing in here is foil because foil is great for cooking at camp and it is something that I can forget sometimes, but if you just want to cook pretty much anything over the fire, aluminum foil is a great way to do it. So that is everything in this section. Now we're gonna move to this back little cubby. We've got a rubber mallet, always handy for hammering in your tent stakes. And probably one of my favorite things in our little kitchen setup are these two things. I got them both from Amazon. It's pretty much everything you need. And I have added a few extra things to it. So pretty much anything with this handle came in the set. Jarrett and I filled these with just salt and pepper. We added Added here are skewers that we'll use for hot dogs or marshmallows on occasion. I actually really love these. They're from REI. They're extendable and they're so fancy. They have this thumb thing where it just rotates the skewer for you. On this side, we added a can opener. Very important when camping because beans. The rest of this came with the set actually. Cooking knife, scissors, grater, tongs. There's actually a little cutting board at the bottom here as well and then a bottle opener. Now this one is all of our utensils. So it came with all of these plus the chopsticks. The only thing Jarrett and I added are our reusable straws here. And then the last thing that I keep at the bottom here are two little pot holders. And it all just fits nicely back in here. This is the first side of my car here. I've already taken pretty much everything again on this middle bit of my camper. So it was only our sleeping bags and the pads were over that way. I always put my camp chairs right along there going across the width of this bed. Under here we have some space because to make my bed level we had to add these arms so it is level with the top of it in the trunk and it actually makes a nice storage space. Usually when we're doing road trips we throw random stuff in there like blankets. Stuck the tarp in here this time around. I always keep our trekking poles in here. These are black diamond trekking poles. So how the bed in here works is it can flip out one more time but you need to push the seats forward in order to do that so whenever we're driving we keep it folded like so and then we have the arms of it stick out just a little bit sometimes I put sleeping bags on here usually soft good type of items so for example this is our clothes for the weekend and that fits perfectly just like so. I have my backpack. This pretty much just has all my art stuff, some books, notebooks, things like that. And then under the arms here for the bed, I keep more storage. I always just slide our tent in right here. We're using a Coleman tent this time around because it's bigger. This is a heavy duty battery pack that we take with us on all of our road trips. It has enough to charge my laptop if we're working on the road or charging my camera batteries in the back here. This is typically all of our pots and pans go in here and just anything like that. Kitchen stuff that I keep in here is basically stuff too big to go in my drawers. I've got paper towels, a strainer. I pretty much always bring our jet boil with us even when we're not backpacking because it is really nice for making coffee in 
the morning. We got a Sea to Summit pot. This is kind of our everything pot. It actually has a strainer up top as well. Again, another backpacking item that we take with us even if we're not backpacking. Paper, coffee cups, because I'm a slow coffee drinker and if we're road tripping, we hit the road in the morning a lot of times, so it's nice to have the ability to make it to go. And I keep extra propane in here for our Coleman stove. Under my chair, I have a toiletry bag. So medicine up here, this comes off so you can just take that to the bathroom with you. So I typically keep my toothbrush and toothpaste in there. I have some bug spray though right now as well. Extra sunscreen, lotion. I used to have bug spray there, but then it went off inside of here. Some makeup remover wipes because that is how I wash my face when I'm camping. I know that's bad, but camping water is cold, so I just like wiping it off. <laughs> and then extra band-aids in there. In our first sight zipper, this is basically grab and go first aid. We've got also some cotton balls and q-tips and then some gauze. And then this one is kind of more like beauty related, I guess. I don't know. We got extra tweezers and some hand sanitizer. But then I keep just extra hair bands, nail clippers, and a lint roller that I've never used. The rest of the stuff in here I just keep in my car at all times. So this is emergency water. Um, it's good to have. <laughs> and this is my actual up-to-date first aid kit. show you right here what this side of the car looked like before we unpacked it and then it's a pretty similar setup i've got some things under this chair this is my mom's bag i'll bring this one out for y'all i'll also note that i like to use soft containers especially for the kitchen stuff because i've used plastic before and if it's just jiggling a little bit while you're driving the noise can be a little bit irritating over time but this one is all i guess sand sanitization kind of like bathroom stuff right on the top i've got our fire starter this is what my little fire starters look like i made a video on how i make these actually they work great and they're free to make all made out of items that you would normally throw out throw away so i will link that down below if you want to check out how to make them so i'll just go through this one by one again we've got an extra towel extra sponge roll of toilet paper covered in plastic so it doesn't get Essay. Down there's a layer of just plastic bags, like shopping bags. We like to use those if we're doing like a really muddy hike and just throw our hiking boots in them. These are some other tiny little trash bags. Wet wipes, extra trash bags, Clorox wipes, extra tissue boxes, and an extra thing of hand sanitizer. And a lot of the cleaning stuff in here, I don't typically take with us camping, but these are wild times we live in. So gotta have all this stuff. And last but not least, I have this little bin, again from Daiso. I keep it underneath the passenger seat chair and it is the wonderful box of extras. <laughs> um, if it is just something that I can tuck away, don't even have to deal with it unless I actually need it. It, then might as well have it. We've got an extra hammock string in case the one that I have with my hammock is too short, whatever it may be. Got this. I also keep my hammock down underneath the chair there as well. Extra phone charger. I keep my little shovel in here because you never know. Some cord and twine. Extra double A. Our headlamps use triple A batteries, so we've got a lot of them. Sewing kit. I don't know. A roll of film in case I forget my film. Pencil sharpener because I'm an artiste. More clips. I told you I forget chip clips all the time. Glasses cleaner and just some extra little techie items. It just slides right in and it's gone. That's it. We shall now go to previous Jamie when it was brighter out and I wasn't so hungry. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hoping to do a video in the future of how I take my car for car camping, specifically when Jarrett and I are sleeping in my car. If you want to follow my car's adventures, I 
post all that on Instagram. My Instagram is basically my camping adventures purely. So that is at Jamie Photo. And let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in a video about the car build itself and how we built it and why we made it the way we did. As always, I hope you'll have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.